Um, my name's Nicole Steele and I did a Gold Crest project called Treat Them to Keep Them as a um, part of the East Waikato Science Fair. I'm from Ronza College and I'm here. Why did you start the project? Um, I wanted to do a Gold Crest project so I approached Animal Health Centre because I'm interested in cows and um, a need was identified to investigate the effectiveness of prolonged therapy in um, lactational dairy cows. And so we did, we did that. I worked with, in conjunction with the Animal Health Centre and used all their um, facilities and equipment and worked pa as part of the lab team. So have people um, looked at this before? Yeah, previous studies have been done on extended therapy using different drugs, but we used penethylate hydroiodide. And um, the previous studies have shown that there have been mixed results, but mostly that it has been effective. So there were three parts of the project, but objective one was the main thrust of it, that was evaluating the um, effectiveness of the prolonged treatment on the bacterial cure rate. And so we did this with three local dairy herds, and we identified from herd tests the cows in the herds that had greater than 200 cells per mil for the cell count. And so from this, we identified cows that fit the um, enrolment criteria. So in these cows that were selected were um, randomly assigned to one of three groups. So we had a control group who received no treatment, a three times group who received three treatments at 24 hour intervals of um, penethylate hydroiodide, and six times treatment who received six at 24 hours. And so, f yeah, from that we retested them after treatment was called day zero. The, the first day of treatment was called day zero, and at day 21 and 28 we retested them to um, assess the cures, yeah, so assess the cure. Um, the results we found were really good. We had, um, they were really significant. We found with the, um, the bacteriological cure rate for zero, three and six was 16%, 32% and 56% respectively. So, and the p-value was zero point, oh, less than 0 0.001, so that was really good. So what was your involvement? Um, I was involved in the milk sampling as much as possible and I was also involved in pl um, plating up the bacteriology and all that sort of stuff as much as I could. So following these results we found that the prolonged effect was really good and but just with um, one species of pathogen, Staphylococcus aureus, we found that they had lower cure rates and I wanted to find out why so this is where I used PCR in Objective 2. What did you find from PCR? Basically I wanted to look for the presence of three indicator genes and one of these being the Blaze gene which identifies um, penicillin resistance in the Staphylococcus isogen as well. I did the sensitivity test which is a phenotypic test and the PCR is a genotypic test and the results showed that only by using PCR only two of the 60 Staphylococcus isolates were resistant to penicillin but the zone diffusion showed that 24 were, which was 45%, were penicillin resistant. So we concluded from that that there are other genes that can code for penicillin resistance. So we just we only looked for one, so it limited the project. So it could be something to further look at. Um, we also went into looking at the um, cure proportion from these, and we found that only one penicillin resistant isolate actually achieved bacterial cure and whereas the others didn't. So I, yeah, I really enjoyed doing all this sort of PCR stuff. Um, I really thoroughly enjoyed the experience and I'm one of the only ones down at Animal Health Centre that can do it. <laughs> so what was objective three? Um, objective three looked at um, communicating the results of my study. So I chose Tatawa Dairy Company as a group because they were local and it was just more convenient and they were all willing to help down there. And so I sent out a survey to find out what method of communication they would prefer and would be most suitable to them. So I sent that out and the response I got back, I got 48% response rate, which we thought was really good. And I, from, from the results, I identified that the most preferred method of communication would be reading it in an attachment to the title of monthly newsletter. So this action was recently undertaken. Um, so... There is, it's been really good research and there's other 
lots of other areas it's brought about that can be put into future study. And what I'm really excited about is March next year, um, this project has been accepted to be presented at the International Dairy Federation Mastitis meeting in March next year in Christchurch, and I'm really excited about that. And I'm the senior author for that, so that's really cool.